Hey guys, Jarrod here. So, I was watching Source Fed today, Source Fed today, and like uh, it was a table talk, and they were talking about Crystal Dick, and uh, I just I I came across this on Blue Light. Uh, I don't know what it was. I just was like, couldn't. Uh, they're talking. Okay, and apparently Crystal Dick is something you get with meth. Like I and. I should you now, this is a freaking thing that I found on a, on a board. <clears throat> One of the reasons I wanted to try meth was, frankly, a new partner loves drug sex. I knew that there are, were issues with body heat making or cock shrink, but I assumed that was after a time, although I didn't know it was called Crystal Dick until I read it on here. Not for me. As horny as I am on meth, there ain't nothing to play with, to so to speak. Could just use Viagra or something, but I have a feeling that may not be a good idea. Any suggestions? Note that Viagra and methamphetamine both affect the cardiovascular system, and that combining and compose the rest of your body. With that said, no seriously complications are likely to occur, though it is something to keep in mind. I do... I know these risks are probably too negligible for anyone taking street methamphetamine intravenously to take into consideration, but I thought it should be said given to the previous suggestion. First off, let me just stop right there and say, what the... Did, what? What? This dude is like, I'm thinking about trying crystal meth. No! No! You never think that! There is not a rational part of your mind that ever says, Well, I, what shall we do today? Hmm, let's try crystal meth. No! And if a woman says that she, if a partner says, Hey, will you do meth with me? You say no! And you stop and think about your poor life decisions! For the love of God! And Philly D, I love Philly D. Like, Philly De Philip DeFranco, I think, is hilarious. There's just one, like, I'm not going to riff on him for uh, shaming anyone. Like, he's talking about shaming people with herpes or STDs. And I just want to say, this is, like, me shooting, shouting this out to him. You know, it, not all people have made the decision to have it. People can be born with STDs that it's really unfortunate that, like... People get, can be you can be born with them if your parents have made poor decisions or they were born with them and that's an unfortunate part of life and you know it shouldn't you shouldn't shame someone because their parents fucked up that's that's not cool I mean there's a lot of kids who are born with HIV because their parents have it or and that's a terrible tragedy and I I think that's kind of something so don't don't shame someone for feeling bad that of having a disease. Like, if you're born with it, or if you catch it, if you were duped, or if, like, or if this, like, I'm not a very big proprietor of the medical system sometimes, and I feel like sometimes they can screw people over. Just like, uh, back in the day, people didn't know much about HIVs, so they were doing blood transfusions and giving people AIDS, which... Like, if those people had families that also ended up becoming HIV positive, that's pretty fucked up, yo. I don't care who you are. That's that's not their fault. That is someone who did not understand this disease and screwed up. <clears throat> Sorry. This whole rant. Has, like, if you have an STD, most of them are curable nowadays. I really want them to come up with a cure for Herpes and HIV, but those are, uh, like, I think, if, if we really focus our money on fixing these diseases instead of just treating them to make more money, we'd have a lot better system in America, or in just the world. I think we should cure more diseases. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> This is a whole long tirade. Anyways, that's just some just some stuff. So Philly D, I want you to keep that in mind when it, when you say when you're shaming people, because not everyone is like that. Like not everyone is like that. You know, 
<sighs> like, they... A lot of people... Some cancers are genetic. Some, uh... Some things... If you have a disease, they're, they can be passed down. Like, heart diseases or diabetes can be genetic or you can take it. I'm pretty sure. I'm... I, somewhere along the lines, of, there's something about diabetes that... I, like, I, I know people with diabetes and some of them... <laughs> One of... Uh, a friend was telling me about a story where his friend said, straight up said, um, wow, that sounds like such an urban rumor. But no, like, this guy was talking about his friend who said, uh, <clears throat> they, who was taking his insulin shot, and he's like, wow. It, it, and he's like, D are you dying? And his friend's like, well, they don't call it liver beaties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was thinking, have you ever seen, if you ever saw Metalocalypse, why aren't, isn't there insulin tasting or insulin candy I couldn't stop giggling because I was like wow that would be horrible <laughs> and I just want to say this to anyone who has <clears throat> to the ladies she asked for the D so I gave her diabetes diabetes <laughs> oh yeah eh I shaved today and I like really hate it. Like I shaved right here and it's itchy. It's itchy. Like I, uh, the only reason I shave is because it makes me feel better. Like, but most of the time I'm when I'm just too lazy. I grow out like this ridiculous. I can't grow beard here, and it just looks stupid. It's like fuck you. I'm gonna stay in my neck. Yeah. Yeah. Some days are stranger than others. Okay, so I don't remember what my original thing was. Oh yeah, Crystal Dick, Crystal Dick. Okay, this is a PSA. This is what the PSA should just be to children. To anyone who ever thinks crystal meth is a good idea, it's not. Really, it's not. Drugs are bad, they're very addictive, they take all your money, and they screw you up, and you can die from them. Simple. Drugs, bad. Tell kids that, they'll get it. But I don't, like, I'll just be honest. Like, some drug, oh, well, I shouldn't say that. There's, there's really addictive substances that you shouldn't do. But there's things that are considered not, like, drugs. Marijuana is one of them. I actually did a, <laughs> a paper on what would happen if, uh, if they made weed legal in every or in in just America, and they taxed it at like a twenty seven percent sales tax, and like, oh my goodness, like I did a full thing on this in high school, and my teacher was just like, continue, like he, like I just I said, uh, what was it, Proposition four twenty, and like he just looked at me, he's like, I know where you're going with this. I will allow it in government, but you, you little shyster. I'm like, <clears throat> so then I went on the site and found the rough street value of, of rec, of recreational marijuana in America, like in each state an estimated, like I added every state's rough estimate of what a, um, oh, probably, I don't remember. I think I did a, what one ounce or, uh, oh, anyways, it was roughly the same as amount that, that you'd have in a pack of cigarettes, like, if you bought the street, the weed, uh, value of that, added them all up, totaled them, divided by 50, got the median for um, all of, like, just borderline across the states, put a 20% sales tax, and good God, like, I, and then I, like, lit, did all the, um, what, 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 uh, legal ramifications were, and, you know, I said, well, I figure 18 and up is probably good enough to handle it. If some states want to choose different uh, ages, they can go for it. And, uh, yeah, that was my, uh, I mean, it, it, it was basically what, and then uh, I, I did how many, like, legal charges were dropped and other ramifications, like driving while under the influence, which really... It really was a very, very long piece, and I just remember my teachers, like, 
intrigued that I had the balls to, like, he said, okay, you can make a law or you can find an actual law and explain it. And everyone was explaining these laws or, or stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just have the stones to look my teacher in the eye and say, let's make weed legal. Like, in, in height, like, that's something you do in college. This was, like, senior, no, it was, it was junior or senior year of my high school. And, like, I just had the stones to look my teacher dead in the eye and say, I'm going to do this about pot, and you're going to have to deal with it. And I, like, I can, and the funny part is I still have my dare medal. Like, I actually got a medal from being in dare. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what the officer or the officer Haney is thinking right now. <laughs> oh, this is such a long video. Me, I don't do pot. Like I've I've smoked it before. I won't deny that. I mean, I'm sure many people have. It's not like something I reoccurringly do. It's not like. I just have to roll a blunt every freaking hour or so. But, you know, if you do it, it's your business, it's your life, your body, whatever. And, personally, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Like, tobacco is pretty much the same thing, except for one just has a crystal that makes you happier, and whatever. I see, like, I think alcohol, like, like people who drink alcohol, it's pretty much the same. I don't know. I, like I, I see. I don't understand why we we are so against this one thing, yet so pro alcohol. It's it just seems stupid to me. And Colorado and uh, Colorado and or you know the states that did it. It was just all right. Anywho, uh, yeah. So that was all that. <laughs> like. Just don't do hard drugs like heroin, meth, cocaine. Yeah, just like that stuff. And I don't I, like stuff that's really addictive. If you want to go try peyote in the desert for a spirit walk and it's part of your culture, go right the fuck ahead. Uh, that doesn't bother me. I like I, there, there's 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 classifications like. There's drugs that I inherently think of as bad, and then there's drugs that are like, yeah, and then there's ones that I'm like, okay. Because technically, if you think about it, alcohol is its own drug. I think alcohol and weed, like, if you just look at the effects of versus each other, I mean, health factor-wise, alcohol is much worse for you if you constantly drink it and you're dehydrated, it kills your liver, does a lot of bad damage. I'm really toxic. Uh, what are the other ones? Um, crack and crack and all that. Pretty much cracking up is bad for you. But I think if America was to legalize all drugs, like they did in the Netherlands, um, then and and like they legalized all drugs and they said. Fuck it. All of them are legal. And then they just opened up rehabilitation centers. The drug rate usage went down a lot. Like, it's not illegal. It's not risque to do it. And they and, and instead of just trying to say, no, 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 they're like, here, let us help you. And that's something I always found interesting. That's one thing that America should learn. Instead of like, privatized prisons that make people worse, that make criminal organizations stronger. Like, it's good for them to make criminals worse. We don't rehabil rehabilitate our people. That's one thing that always annoyed me about America. It's like, our prisons make criminals worse. I just thought that was dumb. That pissed me off. Like, uh, I'm sure... There, there are some people that, some people aren't worth redeeming. Some people, I think, are, there's no excuse for things, and it's really semantics. If you really want to look at it from the point, there is no good or evil. It's consequences, actions, what defines morality, semantics, 
and there are things that morally we think of as wrong. And here, there are the things that I always think, the ultimate, there are pretty much three things that I will never, ever, ever, like, that I think are the worst things. Uh, murder, rape, and child molestation. Those are it. But theft in certain circumstances, like, theft is a really gray area, uh, but, and, and rape, too, is a really difficult thing, because that's on the board, because that, accusations can ruin people's lives, and it's, um, it's a terrible thing, but it's really a semantic thing, and, uh, yeah, um, lots of other, like, those, and then, but, but realistically, stealing stuff is wrong, yes, but there are certain circum yeah, there are circumstances where you can understand it. Poor people steal because they need to feed themselves. That's not something that like it it always bothered me. We are a society that both condemns and glorifies crime in certain ways. You know, like uh like think about it if you, if you really really deeply think about it that's it's it, destruction of prop like uh graffiti a lot of people are anti no graffiti is horrible get rid of it it's it's an like it makes things ugly and really it's a form of art or, or then it, then there's the counter argument that's it expresses it's it shows the youth it it's it's um, beautiful, these kids have this talent, and I always thought, it's, I find some graffiti beautiful, some ugly, but it's still a way of art, and that's something that always strange, was strange for me, um, yeah, <sighs> I really ranted on this one, seven, uh, this is j Road, a license plate jacket radio, I actually want to know what your thoughts are on on what you view the world is mor morally and consciously, and whether you think there is good or evil, if there's wrong or right, what you think is acceptable. This is J-Road, out.